Hi friends. Welcome to 30 inks, 30 days, day 30. Can you believe it? We've come to the end of the road. Um, so first we'll start off looking at yesterday's ink, which is Milky Ocean. Beautiful. Um, it's kind of a thing I have with Caveco pens that I almost always have to prime the feet. This was no exam um, exception. It's it's a bummer, but it at least I have the option when I'm using the converter. Um, there it is on there, and uh, here. But we're moving on to today. And I thought, what better way to end 30 Inks, 30 Days this month than to go to the classics. So we're going to go back, back to Cali Cali, um, to the ink that started it all, Emerald of Shavor. And mine was actually called that. That's what the name on the box. It was not Emerald as it is now, even though that is the French word for Emerald. Um, this was before they changed the boxes. It had that like art on it anyway. And then the pen is my Twisby VAC 700 R and Iris because this combination of pen and ink is obscene. At least it was the last time I used it. And today's drink is a glass of Merlot because it's French or something, or just because I love wine and we haven't done wine, how can that be? <clears throat> so, we got our shaking. Where did I put my, oh, there it is. I was like, where did I put my automatic pen? It's right in front of you, girl. Um, I just lost the pen. How are you doing? How's your day? Mine is awkward. That's okay. Hmm. This is gonna have. This is gonna go well for me. This isn't even in there. Oh, Emerald. You know what I can do? I got this. I was gonna get up and get stuff, but no, no. You lazy? Not lazy. but I don't want to get up and get stuff. So I need to use the syringe anyway. Um, dog walker is about to come back in. So we'll mute in a moment. And by mute, I mean pause. So I'm not gonna put a lot in because that would be a lot. And I have kind of a lot of pens inked right now. One moment. The dog has been walked and has been given a little treat. Wouldn't it be great if someone gave you a treat for going to the bathroom? How, wouldn't you love that? Who's with me? Who's, I bet a bunch of you are with me like, you know, some of these dogs have got the life, you know, we, they lay around most of the time, we feed them, we pick up their poop, they just get loves and treats. And all we ask of them is total obedience and loyalty and love. Oh, she's doing her thing. She's all right, everybody. She just does this thing. Here we are. Oh, look, you can see a bunch of bubbles popping. Maybe I can see them. All right. I think I have too much ink for this flat, so I'm looking forward to that. And I'm not sure how well this will write because I did dip the nib and you can see there is ink on there. Um, let's see. 
writes well enough. So today we have Emerald of Shavor. Oh. Urban. I think this is actually J. Urban, but who knows? Uh, Twisby Vac 700R with a broad nib. This basically like is like ice. You know, no, this is, this has less, this is like butter across a hot pan. <laughs> this is like, decoy Merlot. Look at it, it's thick. The ink is thick on that paper. Can you see it? I don't think you can, but it's thick. I heard my, my partner heard that and was like, I got to see this thickness. Just kidding. He didn't say that at all. I'm clean as thick. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> Cheers, y'all. <laughs> Slante. Slante? Shante? Salute? Mm-hmm. I'm also excited because I'm going to make mac and cheese for dinner. Mm -hmm. Baked mac and cheese with induya, which is not at all the same as gianduya for the record. Induya is, you know, well, look it up. It's apostrophe N D U J A. I'm trying to make sure this splat doesn't go back there. And it's just, we're, I'm on struggle. It's, I'm on struggle. This is it. Brain no good. Brain no work good right now. Okay. Okay. I lost the syringe. Where did you go? It's right here. Oh my gosh, I didn't even write the words. Heavens. Okay. Okay. 30 inks, 30 days. April 2024, day 30. Ink. J. Urban Emerald of Chavor Pen Twisby Back 100R Iris with a broad nib Drink Decoy That's the vineyard Ish. Merlot. I believe they're kind of like an imprint of uh, duckhorn. By the way, what do we think? Not perfect. It's called how polarizing. And now. This is a newer card. You can see there's not kind of, there's not really that much shimmer in it. Cuz I think I had an older card and it was meh. Now. Here it is here. Yeah, the shimmer is 
not super prominent. You get words though that like are really amazing. Like you can see up in here. Beautiful. And Ugh, lovely. Lovely. Beautiful, beautiful. Uh, what do we think of this month? It's phenomenal. This is such a beautiful month. It's a very Maria month. Yeah. It's interesting. You look at Dotto, Wayfarer, and Emerald of Shavor. Oh, well, that happened. Where did you come from? Oh, my gosh. Where did that come from? On the outside. It's on the outside, everyone. I'm cleaning it. Anyway, we look at the month. It's fitting that there is like an ink mess at the end also. This has been a rough month. <laughs> been sick for most of it. Um... Feeling much improved. Thank you again for the well wishes. Oh, look at that. Well, actually, it's not that bad. We'll get to compare. There's a little blob of Emerald Shavor next to Dokto. And you can see Emerald Shavor is darker. And what I was going to say is it's almost like a progression. Like a family of colors. Dokto, Wayfair, Emerald Shavor in increasing darkness. Um, lovely. And actually, I think you could put Nebula Space Kitty over here as like the darker still version of it. Beautiful. So here it is, the month. Do you have a favorite? I'd love to know. Sometimes our favorites to look at aren't our favorites to write with, though. Right? Mm, this is drying nicely. Okay, let's come over here and do our the right. It's on here. Look. I'm covered in ink. Okay. Here we are. It's, it's very fitting. Day 30. It's not as smooth on this paper, but that's not surprising. This is, this has more friction in general. So here's how um, you make Merlot, okay? So first it starts with acquiring land. Then you have to till the earth. Then you have to acquire grapevines. Plant grape vines. Wait. 
let sun and rain and other things make grapes grow. Harvest grapes, put grapes in big wooden bucket thing invite Lucille Ball to stomp grapes she's a pro I saw it on a documentary about her making wine <laughs> other stuff Profit. I mean, drink wine. That's how you make wine. Alternately, you could probably just go to the store and buy it, but then you wouldn't have Lucille Ball over stomping on grapes. Truly, that is a sight to behold. If you don't know what I'm talking about, it's an episode of I Love Lucy. Holy cow! Look at this, there's ink here! What did I do? No. What did you do? This is the dog's fault. I don't know how yet. What is this your fault, isn't it? Little cutie. All right. Here we are. The end. I've had fun, mostly. I mean, this has been fun. The month hasn't been fun. But this has been fun. Um, I will, of course, be back as usual with like a wrap-up video talking about my thoughts and any favorites that I've had. Um, I'm planning on, uh, I'll show you the full like calendar in here when we do that. So anyway, I hope whenever you're watching this, you're having a wonderful day. Take care of yourselves. Bye. Bye.